Wow, it is a very interesting time here at Makere University. I welcome you, my dear. My name is Benon Mukwaya. Once again, it is a cause of expression. I told you I'm only here to source for you. <laughs> Very interesting. It is the International Day of Chinese Language. Normally in Echoes of Expression, we look at the language, how it flows, how it moves. You know, uh, I'm really privileged that you're there. It is right this time that I have one of the best students ever that is going to cheer and cheer with us today. Wow, it is so grateful. I'm so privileged to have you here. Yes, Can you talk no, about the day? Yes, but before, let people understand who you are, where you are coming so from, and uh, what you have really observed. First, uh, who you are. Daja Hao, Wajo Mingzi Chaola. Hello, everyone. My name is Moise Joel. I am a student of Tarry School. I'm happy to be here at Makere University celebrating the annual Chinese Day. It has been quite an engaging day where we have had some time good enough to explore and exploit the chance to look up to Chinese culture. Having also a beautiful day with one of the people who have been successful in the line of teaching Chinese. And me, as a student, I'm one of the pioneers of Chinese language. At Terry School, I'm in Senior 6, and we look up to making it to the top and making it to the best and we would sign just like we usually do. I'm so happy to be at Makai University and I'm so glad to be at UBC. I'd like to take it on to our course. Thank you so much. Wow, 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 wow. So, how has been this experience? This experience has been so entertaining. You see, it is very good to have an engagement of a language because it also explores you to the culture of those particular people. So today has been unique enough. We have been learning the language, but today it has exploited us also to have an opportunity and look up to the different cultures of China. Okay, yeah. now first wait. What's your tribe? Me? Uh, I'm a Munyankwari. So your uh, language is... So, how do you find this actually from your language, driving from your language to Chinese? Don't you think it's hectic? Not quite to that extent because to the former education we have apparently, we are learning English. So, when you are learning Chinese, it is swiftly entertaining to learn it directly to English. But if you want to put it our normal language, also, no problem about it. Trust me, it is oh, such wow. an engaging success. Would you like to give that good applause to the teacher who trained you how to speak Chinese? Oh, well, first and foremost, yeah. I do believe it has been a hierarchy of opportunity. Wow. Whereby it has to begin with our government mm. that has been so good enough to support us through the Ministry of Education and Sports, mm. headed by the First Lady. And also, I send my sincere appreciation Wow. to Terry School, okay. Board of Governors, that has been able to pull out these teachers, mm. our Chinese teacher, especially teacher Ronet and Rona, those are my teachers of Chinese language so at Terry School. it is the school where President Museveni went to? Come on. Oh my the God. <laughs> above the school. <laughs> Thank you so much, my dear, uh, for uh, being part of this show. We take a very Don't short break and then we come back. When we are back, we are going to enjoy students from Chambogo College. So, oh my God. Love you so much. See ya. <laughs> Phoebe is also here to share with us how she has found this journey as far as Chinese is concerned. Yes, Phoebe. Hello, everyone. My name is Jagenda Phoebe Wisdom. Like, at the beginning, I thought that Chinese is hard. Um, according to how I saw them on TV, how they talked, it was like fast. But right now, I said it's, it's interesting the way they dress, the way they talk, their culture, it's fun. Like, we enjoy this thing. Right now, I want to like build up my story as a Ugandan Chinese. Eh? Like, I go, up, I go to those Chinese countries, wear their stuff and do everything because I'm starting to like the thing. It's very interesting on my side and I know because they are our co-partners in trade, in imports and exports, like we we'll go up together, Chinese and Ugandans, and if I'm involved, I know even me I will be a big woman there. Wow, what's your class, Phoebe? As we complete S3 Senior 3. Oh wow. 
Any inspiring message before we leave? I inspire all those who want to study Chinese, who enjoy Chinese, who enjoy the culture, like to come and join because it's easy. It's not that hard because when they are teaching us, they are like slow, not that fast. But when you learn, you'll be like, eh, I know Chinese. I know that that very thing I like from the beginning because I know many children like Chinese okay. movies, like so Chinese soaps, and I inspire them to join because it's very, very, very interesting. Shout out to mommy and daddy. <laughs> mommy and daddy out there. You can see me right now. I've reached very far because of Chinese. I pray that you get more and more money to make me afford this thing. And I thank you for the support, the blessings. Shalom. All right. Once again, I'm here with Tisache. Is it? Tisache Amukama? Tisache. Aha, Tisache. Tisache from Wapewo Ntake SS. She's going to also share knowledge how she has found this journey of studying Chinese. Yes, Tisache. What's your motto? Your school motto? Our school motto is Ekula Yehu. What is the meaning? For example, yeah. the young one flies away. When you study harder, mm. you, be, you fly away to different countries. Oh, Ekula. Yes, that's oh, That is a good motto. I think it's so inspiring. We are here to inspire Uganda. Why did you decide to study Chinese among like any languages? I decided to study Chinese because it is an interesting language and it, my teachers too inspired me to learning different languages is one of the interesting things because in one way or the other I can go to different societies looking for a job and I might find different languages used by other people. That's why I study Chinese because it is an interesting language. Wow, any hardships so far? Yeah, as far as the, 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 the lesson is concerned. Yeah, it's really great characters. Yes, that's the mm. Yes. So, can you now write good Chinese and even read it? Yes, I can. How did you come to know it? I really practiced using my Chinese workbooks. I really practiced from the day I started Ch learning Chinese to date. Wow. Any inspiring message to girls of your age who are there watching us? I do inspire them and I urge them to always study Chinese because it is an interesting language. It takes us to different societies because one or the other we are not supposed to be in the same society. We go to different societies, that's why we always learn different languages and different cultures. So I inspire them to always learn different cultures, different languages, so that they may be associated to every society that they go through in. Wow. <laughs> Hey, I'm with Frank. Uh, Frank is going, also going to take part in this. He's a student who has studied Chinese since senior one. He went to senior two and now he is in senior three, expressing how interesting the language and culture are. <laughs> yes, Frank, talk to the people. Yes, how are you? My name is Gavineza Frank. I'm from Wampeo Otake Secondary School. Mm. I love studying Chinese. I studied Chinese since senior one. I'm now in senior three. Yeah, I love how it works. We, we learn many things like their culture, how they treat other people, how they call some things, and how they sing. Play and act. Do you think Chinese are good people? Yeah, they are good. What shows? Right here, right now, they are very hospitable. Wow. They have treated us well, they have shared with us, with their music, with their kung fu things, with their games and sports. Yeah, it's Who teaches Chinese at Wampeo in Turkey? Uh, we, we have like we have two, two, two teachers. Huh? The first teacher is called Irene. Irene. Uh, the second teacher is two teachers, mm. senior one. Yeah. Wow. So, any comments on the teachers? Yeah, they are really nice people and they inspired us. They really inspired us to come and study Chinese. And study Chinese. Okay, any inspiring word to any person watching us from far ends of the world? Yeah, I, uh, I really, really, really am really grateful to be studying Chinese because it had helped me with many things. To, to co cooperate with other people, to be responsible, to manage time, and other things.
I'm here with another person, one of the contestants in the dressing code called Veronica. She's so, so, so smart. Uh, Vero, how do you feel, by the way, before we go any further? How do you feel? Um, I feel so, so, so comfortable and I really love the attire, I love the colour, mm. I am so comfortable and free. You mean this, you love this colour? I really love it. Why? Love it because of the shining, the shining colours. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so who inspired you to dress in a Chinese, you know? Um, I was inspired by my teacher, mm. Teba Christopher. Mm. Um, yeah. He told us, he told me that you guys, you come and see, you come and experience the Chinese culture. Wow. Mm. So I also felt like it was better for me to do it, so I had to go. Wow, once again, I welcome you, my dear viewer, number one. I'm with one of the best students ever dressed in how do you call this by the way actually, how do you call this actually i'm not so sure of a chinese name but all i know it's nice attire of chinese oh wow yeah, it's my first time wearing it who told you to 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 wear this i'm one of my love she's she's just over the tent over there oh god yes what's your name talk to the people um, watching us on echoes of expression my name is nansara kumaria my chinese name is malia uh -huh. yes I come from what, what, What's your Chinese name? Malia. Oh, good. Yes. So, uh, yes, Malia. Yes. What's your school? My school is Chambogo College School. Then class? I'm in senior two. Senior two. Yes. Who inspired you to be part of the Chinese culture and language? That will be my Laoshi, Taba Christopher. Uh -huh. Yes, I've been learning Chinese for now quite a year. Yes, he involved me in the activities, in the singing, in the writing and everything, like I get involved each and every day. But Chinese seems to be a bit uh, hectic, really to write it and read. How did, actually, where did you get the guts of learning? I, for me to learn it, I, it's complicated, yes, but I had the love for it and the passion. So when I see something new and I send a benefit and an opportunity, I go for it. You mean at school, is there any person who uh, maybe inspired you to, to, to come into the language at school? That will definitely be my teacher because he's ever there, ever available. Oh, who is that teacher? That will be um, Laoshitaba Christopher. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, Mr. Christopher is so good. Very good. And then, uh, as well. Why are you seeing yourself as far as the, uh, the Chinese culture and language are concerned? I'm seeing it as a big opportunity for us because mm. the trade itself is very good. Mm. The institutions, it's going to ease our interaction together because right now at least I can say hi in the language. I can be like, hey, I know you, I can do this and this, I can write. I can eat the food, like, I you know, yes, the culture is very, very good. Exchanging is very good because now I'm learning so much the dress code, the eating styles, the talking style, 